Hello, chatters. Welcome to the Jai Data Show. My name is Adeze Wangpo. On today's episode of Jai Data Show, we'll be talking about being a baby mama and a class one. Yes, baby mama and a class one, not the trash one. Of course, if you think you need to get pregnant to get a man's attention or to, according to us here, hook a man to stay with you, to get a man to be with you, uh, you're mistaken. Because, um, Maybe he will get excited for a few months of you delivering. Maybe he's going to be happy seeing his baby for a few months. But over time, he's going to feel regret and disgust over the fact that you actually hooked him with the child. I want you to be a classy, sexy baby mama. I want to be a baby mama who knows her what. A baby mama who doesn't have to depend on the man to take care of his child. Of her, of her child. I need you to be a baby mama who knows that when you're demanding child support, you're demanding child support because yes, that is it. Not because you require him to be emotionally available for you or you require him to, you know, financially take care of you. By all means, you should get a financial reward for doing the job. Yes, because it's really, really hard taking care of kids. I'm not just talking about the the, the financial aspect of it, I'm talking about the emotional and physical time, the toll it takes on your body itself. Yes, get get your due. But don't be the baby mama who needs to get rich off being a baby mama. Don't be a baby mama who needs to, you know, get a man's attention by always trying to make him come spend time with you using your baby as an excuse. Be that baby mama that you're so classy, you're so ho high up there with your own standard that when he sees you every day, he wishes he's still back with you, he wishes he had you, he wishes he can have you to himself. But of course, that would be you not wanting him anymore. So please, do not be the baby mama who sits down and wait for the man to do everything for, for her financially. Do not be the baby mama who needs to come up with excuses to get the man not to go date other women because that's that's you feeling horrible that he's dating girl get yourself out there go find you a man who has your time go find you a man who is more deserving of your time go find you a man who is deserving of your emotion that emotion you're trying to spend with the man who is not deserving of you please go find you as a matter of fact go be happy find your own happy first because you cannot give what you do not have unless you find your own happy you don't even know how to enjoy Happiness when you see one. You wouldn't even know what it is to experience happiness when you see one. So go find your own happy. Define your own happy. Not according to what some baby daddy defines it for you as. It has to be according to what you define as happiness for yourself. Girl, go find your own happy. Don't sit down and sulk over the fact. I know sometimes it could be a mistake. It could be because you weren't ready as um Pregnancy happens when people are not ready and probably you don't want to abort and all that. Yes, it's okay. What's not okay is for you to sit sulking. Don't sulk forever. I know it hurts. I know it's hard. I know it's painful when the man is not being there, when he's not being, he's not doing his own job. But girl, if you have to make him pay, yes, make him pay. It is his responsibility to pay. Please make him pay. But what you shouldn't do is sit down and sulk and cry and wish he's back with you and, you know, long for his attention. Don't, don't, girl, don't, don't, don't. When those moments come to your mind, when you is creeping into your emotions to actually sulk, Get out there, go out with your girlfriends, go have some fun. And yes, if you find you a man who is actually worthy of your emotion, by all means, make yourself available to him. And you know what, what happens most of the time is when we are still sucking over some baby daddy who is being used there somewhere, who is being irresponsible somewhere, we don't give ourselves the time to be able to find a man. We don't make ourselves open and available to be able to find a man who is actually really, really deserving of our attention. Because we are so fixated on the silly baby daddy, the naughty baby daddy who doesn't have our time. We end up not making our minds and emotions open and available for a man who is actually deserving of us. Don't be that girl. Don't suck over an idiot. Yes, he's an idiot because he doesn't see your worth. So since he's not seeing your worth, go find your worth, girl, and give yourself a better time to enjoy life, be happy, and yes, you will see that you finally be in that state where you're just happy. 
You don't need a man to make you happy. It comes. If a man is available, fine. But if he's not available, please, girl, don't suck. Don't suck over a man who is not worthy of your time. And girls, you don't need to, don't try to force pregnancy on a man just so he can give you attention. Those attention, they don't last. Over time, it starts eating. Yeah, and you don't want to be in that position where a man is hating on you because you first pregnancy on him because you practically got pregnant when you when he didn't want it don't 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 if you think you're ready if you think you want to take care of your child if you think it's something you want fine but because you boy if you're doing it because you want to force a man to be with you mm -mm 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 -mm. don't do it even if you get tempted don't do it except of course both of you want it okay we would like to hear from you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter and on Facebook, comment and share with your friends. My name is Adesia Wampos. See you some other time. Goodbye.